Student Orientation 2020, Academic Orientation. This presentation will provide you with information to guide your studies at Canada College. Welcome to Canada College. We look forward to being a part of your learning journey. Great things happen here. In this presentation, we'll review a number of items to support your academic success. We'll show you how to access your program webpage where you will find important information about your program. We'll review important dates. We'll discuss 10 tips to assist you be the best remote or online learner you can be. We'll very briefly show you how to access information about Student Success Services. You'll learn how to access Canada College's Learning Management System, also called an LMS, which we call iLearn. You will hear about the library services available. And lastly, we'll quickly review a few academic policies that may impact your studies while with us. Program web pages provide you with a bunch of valuable information about your program. Click on the programs slash courses link at the top of any of the college's web pages. Scroll down a bit and begin typing part of your program name into the search bar. Select your program name from the list and you will be brought directly to the program web page. The program web page contains a floating navigation bar on the right side of the screen. The sections of information available is listed there with hot links to bring you directly to those sections. You will see, among other things, your curriculum. It lists each course by semester that you'll need to take to meet the requirements of your credential. What you need lists specific requirements as well as provides a link to the campus shop for textbook information and purchases. You'll find your program learning outcomes linked to each program and a link to the course outline site. You'll also find potential laddering or pathway opportunities are identified. All course outlines at Canada College are updated, approved, and published to the college's website annually. Although you will be provided with a digital copy in the LMS, iLearn, they will also be available to you after you no longer have access to your courses in iLearn. From any college's webpage, click on programs slash courses, scroll down below the banner image and click on view course outlines. You will be redirected to the course outlines website. Type in the course code in the search field, then click search and the course will be displayed in the courses list. Click on it. Each version or year the course outline has been published will be available in the outlines field. Click on the version you wish to view and it will open as a PDF in a new tab. Important dates and deadlines are found by clicking on the Get Started link at the top bar of the college's website. Click on the View All link under Events Schedule. You will be brought to the Important Dates and Deadlines page. All dates are important, but here are a few to highlight for the fall. August 26th through September 4th, online orientation sessions are available. Please keep an eye on the orientation webpage. Check regularly to verify if information was updated or links were opened. Recorded sessions are available as of August 26th. Live session for your academic program is scheduled the morning of September 2nd. Classes start September 8th for most programs. September 21st is a key date for ads, drops, and withdrawals. After this date, OSAP or refunds may be impacted. The college is closed for Thanksgiving on Monday, October 12th. Reading week for most programs is October 26th to October 30th. December 18th marks the end of the fall term for all programs. The college is closed for holidays December 25th through January 1st. Winter term classes begin January 11th for most programs. It is imperative that we help reduce the spread of COVID-19 by practicing physical distancing, adhering to self-isolation requirements, and using proper hygiene techniques. In alignment with all colleges in the province, Canada College will deliver most courses remotely where possible for the fall semester. What is remote course delivery, you ask? Remote course delivery is 
where the student and the educator are not physically present in a traditional classroom environment. Information is primarily relayed through technology. Theoretical courses will be taught remotely. Some may have scheduled or synchronous components included. Synchronous means that you will participate in a class activity at a specific time on a specific day live. Professors will use one of three web conferencing applications for their course delivery. Microsoft Teams, Zoom, or WebEx. On-campus delivery. Some courses cannot be delivered remotely because they are inherently an applied or practical course. For example, lab or shop courses are scheduled to take place on campus. Your schedule will identify a classroom for on-campus courses. Your professors will use iLearn, or LMS, to provide you with your course content. iLearn houses all of your learning materials. It includes course content, lessons, discussion boards, assessment components, etc., even if a course is scheduled to take place on campus. This recorded orientation has several slides dedicated to iLearn. You will learn more in a moment. Attend the live program orientation session delivered by program faculty on September 3rd to ask specific questions you may have about your program delivery. 10 tips for online or remote learning. The following tips can assist you keep focused and better organize your time as we do our part to stay home and participate in our studies remotely. Access online learning environment daily. Log into your learning environment daily to check for new course content, assignments, events, or scheduled changes. This is a key part of staying organized throughout your online learning experience. Manage your time. Schedule time for each course in your week. Expect to dedicate at least two or three hours per course on course content and another three to four hours per week for assignments and online discussions. Know your due dates. Check your due dates regularly as instructors may adjust the time frame as you go through the course. Keep track of all due dates. An agenda or calendar might be helpful for this. Take notes. Take notes online content just as you would in a classroom. Stay organized. Compile work from each class into binders or notebooks just as you might for an on-campus course. Find a quiet space. Having a quiet area without distractions can make a big difference. Join a study group. Meet up with others in your program using a web conference application to discuss content or problem solve. Make studying enjoyable. Play music if it helps you focus or use noise canceling headphones if you need silence. Take periodic breaks. Stepping away for a few minutes can allow you to return to the task more refreshed. Participate in online discussions. Getting involved in class Discussions is a great way to reaffirm what you have been learning. This is your time to ask questions and engage with your instructor and classmates. And lastly, be patient and courteous. Give your instructors and classmates ample time to reply to your questions and comments. And in all cases, please be sure to communicate in a positive and respectful tone. You'll find the Student Success Services webpage on the support link at the top bar of the college's website. Staff navigators provide support for students with disabilities, accommodation planning, learning strategies, mental health and wellness, crisis management, time management, and more. Visit their website at canadorcollege.ca slash support slash student dash success dash services for more information. The department webpage only scratches the surface of what supports and or activities are available to help you su your success at Canada College. You are strongly encouraged to visit the student orientation webpage to review the pre-recorded student support services session and attend the live session Thursday, September 3rd at 8.30 to ask more questions about student services. Welcome to iLearn, Canadore's online learning management system. It provides ongoing access to important course content, activities, feedback, and other course resources. Reach the iLearn site from Canadore's website navbar by clicking Support, then Student Resources. Or 
Access the site directly at www.ilearn.canadorcollege.ca. The iLearn login page has instructions for new users, existing or returning users, and checklists to ensure you are logging in correctly. Enter your username and password and click Login. Once logged in, view your courses in the My Courses widget. Note that courses are available beginning on their course start date. If you can't find your course in the My Courses widget, find and pin it from the View All Courses link or from the Select a Course menu. From the main homepage navbar, you will find the Calendar tool. The iLearn Help menu is one of several useful resources and will provide guidance on iLearn tool use and more. Clicking Student Support will open a dashboard of useful Canador links, including deadlines and events, important documentation, and other resources to support you and keep you informed. The Resources menu contains your student login guide and links to valuable external learning sites. Clicking on a course tile or selecting a course from the course drop-down menu will take you to that course's homepage. Your important course news is on the left, and important course dates and deadlines are in the calendar to your right. Your course content area has its own link on the left side of the navbar. Your gradebook and grades are found under the evaluation menu. Course activities such as assignment drop boxes, quizzes, and discussions are found under activities. And various communication tools are found under communication. One final important note about iLearn notifications. The Brightspace Pulse app is the best way to receive all iLearn notifications. It connects seamlessly with your iLearn account so that you can view content, assignments, deadlines, grades, news, and more. Don't forget to download the Pulse app from your App Store today. Hi everyone! It's my pleasure to extend a warm virtual welcome to your library. Although our physical spaces aren't currently open, we want you to know that there is plenty of online support available. The most important message is that there are friendly library staff available to help you. The library homepage has a tab labeled Ask Us that will connect you directly with the Info Desk staff. You can be in touch by email or phone and get assistance with anything related to library resources and services. You may also find answers to some of your questions in the How Do I section of the library website. There are links to video tutorials, slide share presentations, handouts, and other online information about library resources and the research process in general. If you're looking for information for a course or for your own personal interest, the Canador Search link on the library homepage is the best place to start. Canador Search connects you with many types of resources, such as books, articles, films, kits, and other items in the library collection, all with a single search. You can look for a particular item, so for instance, if you want to know if the library has a certain book, you could search for that title, or you can just type in a topic of interest. Once you have a list of results, you can then filter them in a number of ways, such as finding a certain type of resource, like articles, or items from a certain date range, or you can use the option to show only those materials that are online, which is handy right now when the buildings are closed and all of the items housed in them aren't available. There are several other helpful links on the library website, so feel free to explore on your own. Of course, there are many physical resources in the library collection as well, and those will be available once the College Drive and Commerce Court libraries are open again. Thousands of print books, including academic material, popular fiction, graphic novels, cookbooks, and even children's picture books form a large part of the library collection. But you'll also find DVDs, board games, anatomical models, puppets, and even phone chargers, all waiting to be borrowed with your student ID card. Once you can visit the library buildings in person again, you'll have comfortable spaces for meeting up with classmates or for studying, as well as access to computers, printing and copying services, and of course, personal assistance from library staff. We're looking forward to welcoming you in person at some point in the near future. Until then, remember that you can always ask us. We're here to help.
academic policies and procedures are found under the About link from the college's website. Click on the link and select Policies and Procedures from the drop-down menu. Academic policies are listed on the column on the left. There are a number of academic policies and procedures that may be important to you throughout your studies at Canada College. Policies are principles, rules, and guidelines adopted by an organization of how to make decisions and take action. The procedure provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to implement the policy. We'll highlight a few policies very briefly. You are encouraged to review academic policies and procedures as needed. Academic appeals. The purpose of this policy is to provide students with a fair and timely process to appeal a procedural error in regards to a final grade that impacts their academic standing or progression within a program. The procedure details the steps and timelines needed to appeal a grade. Academic integrity. This policy sets out to define the meaning of academic integrity and breach of academic integrity and to set the framework for documenting penalties that may be imposed for breaching of academic integrity. Students who breach academic integrity will be subject to disciplinary action. The disciplinary action will reflect the severity of the offense up to and including suspension from the college or revocation of an academic credential. Repeated offenses by the same student, regardless of the program, will result in a more serious penalty than the previous one imposed. Class attendance. The principle behind this policy is that the college believes that students themselves are primarily responsible for their attendance or participation. We know that regular student attendance in all scheduled activities of a course will maximize student success. Students enrolled at the college are expected expected to participate fully in their education. Attendance expectations are set by the professor and communicated in a number of ways to students. Program progression. The college is committed to ensuring deployment of a consistent, equitable, and transparent assessment process that also enables timely feedback to students as they work towards the achievement of learning outcomes. The performance of a student enrolled in a given course at Canador is evaluated using appropriate combinations of summative and formative tools. Evaluation of students' performance is based on criteria that reflect measurement attainment of the learning outcomes established for a course. This policy is strongly linked to the assessment and evaluation of student learning policy. The purpose of the assessment and evaluation of student learning policy is to establish parameters governing the design and implementation of course assessment and evaluations. This policy sets limits on maximum weight val or values of a single assessment. It also provides a guideline for frequency, timing, and communication of student assessment and evaluation. Once again, welcome to Canada College. We truly hope you enjoy your experience at Canada and wish you all the best.